Hi, welcome to another video. So yesterday, I was talking about the new iterations of the Quen 3 Big model. However, now we have another model, which is the Quen 3 Coder model, as well as a Quen 3 Coder CLI, and it is quite good. So let's talk about this. Now, this is not a small model by any means, and most of you won't be able to run it because it is a 480B parameter model, which is a lot. It is a mixture of experts, so only 35 billion parameters are activated, which is similar to Kimi, DeepSeek, or others as well. They say that there will be multiple sizes, but as of now, there's only the Quen 3 coder 480B model available. It's not just a coding model, but rather an agentic model that can get you state-of-the-art results among open models on agentic coding, agentic browser use, and agentic tool use, and is comparable to Claude Sonnet 4. With this, they are also launching their own command line tool for agentic coding called QuenCode. It is forked from Gemini code, and QuenCode has been adapted with customized prompts and function calling protocols to fully unleash the capabilities of Quen 3 Coder on agentic coding tasks. It is trained on about 7.5 trillion tokens. In the SWE bench verified, it scores above Kimi K2 and a bit below Sonnet 4 as well, which is awesome to see. You can also use it with Claude Code, as their official API allows for the Anthropic Schema API, and you can also use it with any agentic coder as well as Klein. Now, if we talk about how well it works, I did try it on five agentic tasks. These are bigger tasks, so I won't talk about the results or details because most of them are different. In any case, Claude Code solves three, Gemini CLI solves two, while QuenCode also solves two, and Kimi K2 with Claude Code Router solves three. I am still yet to try QuenCode with Claude Code Router, but still, it is good that Quen is this good and comparable to something like Gemini CLI while being insanely cheap. Quen only falls short because of the 256K context and nothing else, which means that this model is pretty capable. I am adding more questions and cases and testing more of the agents and models with this new benchmark as well. So, if you want, I can make a video about the best agents based on these questions that I'm crafting. Anyway, I wanted to tell you how it is. I think for my use cases, Kimi is a bit better because it almost feels more like Sonnet and it almost feels like Sonnet that is local, which is awesome. Although, one thing that Quen is good at is not spitting out a ton of text. Kimi spits out a ton of tokens for answers. It almost reasons in the output itself, which makes it a bit higher in cost as well sometimes, while Quen is much more straightforward. I have used Kimi for a bit, and I can only tell if Quen is better or worse after using it for a while and saying anything before. That would not be a good judgment. But I can tell that both these models are almost like Sonnet, if not better in some cases, like Grok will support it and make it super fast instead of the slow speeds that Anthropic has, which is where open weights excel. Also, I don't know why Quen people do this, but as I was saying yesterday, they are notorious for benchmarks. Well, that was called out by a benchmark author of ARC AGI. They apparently said that the 235B model scores 41% on ARC AGI, which is not something that the benchmark authors themselves were able to reproduce. Generally, a private endpoint is given to ARC AGI themselves in order to test a model and verify the results, whereas here they apparently did it themselves and used that score which is not as good. So, that is something Quen seriously needs to work on because I can never really trust their benchmark scores anymore since they train their models heavily 
on benchmark questions, which is something that neither Kimmy nor DeepSeek does as of now. So, those are some thoughts that I had while using it. Now, you can use this model on the Quen Chat platform, which is awesome, and you can use it for free. You can also use the web dev option to make React artifacts with it if you want to make some small and simple apps. Secondly, it is also now available on Open Router. Now, in Open Router, you'll see that there are apparently two versions. One is with a million token context, and one is with a 262k context window. So, Quen has basically launched two variants of the model on their API. One is the Quen 3 Coder Plus, where they have stretched the context length with extrapolation and made it have a 1 million token context window, while there's also the simple open source variant that is at a 256k context window. The pricing for their own official API is also very weird for some reason. So, the API cost goes from $1 to $6 based on the tiers of total context used, which means that if you go over the context window tier, then it would also double or triple the costs per token a lot of times, which is not good. And the output token cost for 1 million tokens input goes to about $60, which is almost the cost of Opus, which is not at all good. I don't know what the deal with their pricing is here. The same also goes with Quen 3 Coder with the 256k context window where it costs $22, which is insanely high for this model. I don't really know what they were thinking when pricing this, because I could use Sonnet for this pricing. Anyway, I would not recommend you use their official API at all, because the third-party providers are providing the model for insanely less cost. With Hyperbolic, it is costing only $2 for input and output. So, Use that, or Parasail has it for about $2 and $3.50, which is also good. Don't use the official API at all and opt out of it in open router because it could cost you a lot. That is it about the pricing. If you want to use it with Klein, Roo, or Kilo, then just head on over to VS Code, go to Klein, and then select the open router option. Then choose the Quen 3 coder model or you can also use Requesty, as that is what I use. So, just use that. You can also use RuCode, then create a profile there, and then do the same stuff here as well. I use Kilo Code, and you can also use that, as it gives you free $20 credits, and you can try the Quen 3 Coder model through there as well. It is a good way if you want to try to use the model on your tasks. Apart from this, there's also the Quen code as well. You can use the Quen code CLI tool easily by going to their repo and then easily installing it with the command written there. Then you can easily run it with the Quen command as well. This is what it looks like. At first, it will ask you to set up and you can get that done. Sometimes it gives an error in the interactive setup mode so you can just export the OpenAI API key and base URL environment variable and then use it that way. Anyway, now it is majorly similar to the Gemini CLI, and that is the major stuff as well. You can use it just like you use the Gemini CLI, and then you can use that as well. That is majorly about it, and you can go ahead and use it. It is a good model, and you can give this a try. I hope the small models also come soon. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.